tax season is here and there are some things to keep in mind to make the most of your tax filing this year, whether you're looking for a big refund or you want to pay the least amount possible. School's First Federal Credit Union is here to make sure you avoid surprises when you file. And here to give us some helpful tips is branch manager Travis Mara of School's First Federal Credit Union. Hey, Travis. Hey, good morning. Thanks yeah, for having me. It's a good time to talk about this because I was telling you I'm a little guilty. I haven't filed yet. Yeah, so. it definitely crept up this year. Yeah, yeah, so we want to make sure we're starting off right. So what's the first thing people should know when they're yeah, going to file? First and foremost, don't miss the deadline. <laughs> uh, you know, most Americans have until April 18th of 2020 to file their taxes so you should uh, gather you know all uh, materials that you'll need to file right away you know otherwise you could end up having to pay a penalty for missing that uh, deadline all right we don't want to have that happen Not so at all, I'll yeah. make sure to do it by the <laughs> deadline and I understand that there are some changes that could make a difference in terms of what is owed or refunded this year yeah so sure you know uh, last year taxpayers didn't need to itemize their charitable uh, contributions to lower their taxable income you could claim a standard deduction on all eligible uh, donations up to $600. However, starting this year, any uh, charitable contributions that you do want to deduct will need to be itemized. So it is very important that you are keeping good records of all your donations for quick access should the IRS make a request. Okay, that's good to know. Any other changes this year? Yeah, one of the big ones is to tax credits. Uh, some of the tax credits, such as the earned income tax credit, has increased. However, some others, such as the child tax credit and the child independent care credit, have gone down. Uh, for example, hmm. for those eligible to receive uh, the child tax credit, uh, in 2022, you could have earned up to 3,600 per dependent. For 2023, that's uh, lowering down to 2,000. Okay, so some different, some changes yes, there. So good to know sure. ahead of time. Are there any positive changes you can tell us yeah, about? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for those that do kind of claim standardized deductions rather than itemizing everything, mm -hmm. the maximum deduction will rise about $800 up to about 25,900. Uh, so that is a you know a benefit for you in that case. Also, uh, there is no changes to kind of the itemized uh, limitations. You can continue with unlimited uh, itemized uh, deductions. Mm -hmm. Also, help is on the way. The IRS has hired over 4,000 customer service representatives, as well as 700 employees at all their uh, taxpayer assistance centers throughout the country. I mean, that's helpful when you have, when there's so many changes that are happening, if you yeah. need some additional help, it's good yeah. to know that yeah, there's services. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any final tips for us, Travis? Yeah, don't procrastinate. You know, now <laughs> is the time as we're talking <laughs> to kind of ask those questions, research these changes and seek uh, reinforcements. Now, I know there is a lot of good, valuable information online, but please keep in mind only a tax professional can kind of evaluate your personal situation as well as advise you on the uh, right path to take. Also be very uh, leery of scams. You know, the IRS will never call, text, or email you asking for personal information. So should someone reach out to you claiming to be with the IRS, demanding money, um, uh, eliminate that communication immediately and contact the IRS. Uh, lastly, you know, consider uh, receiving your refund quicker. You know, elect to receive it via direct deposit. Uh, not only is that more secure than the physical check, but you also will tend to get it much quicker, which we all need that money right now. Yeah, we want that return ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you pointed out, too, to be very aware of just the scams that are mm -hmm. happening. That's been a popular conversation that we've been having this year and even into last year. Yeah, so. yeah it's, unfortunately, they're out there. It's never ending. They're getting smarter, mm -hmm. and especially when it's relative to what we're doing. It's tax season. We're panicking, and we're thinking, oh, my God, I forgot. Right. So they, they are quick to get us, and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the key is just to be aware. Yeah, they're looking for that impulse decision sure. so want to be aware like you Definitely. mentioned mm -hmm. and our viewers they can visit if they're trying to get their finances in order they can visit one of the many branch locations that schools for sure has. in addition to you know we have over 70 branches uh, statewide but in addition to that if you are looking for more tax time information or other financial wellness resources please visit our website at schoolsfirstfcu.org perfect travis thanks for joining us Thank this you. morning you bet and for more information like he just mentioned you can visit schoolsfirstfcu.org when we come back, we'll hear